So you are going to get to see a cream of the crop, top five type player going up against one of the best up and comers. This matchup, I'm telling you, we keep on hyping it up. It's supposed to be fireworks. I think it will be. Yeah. And I can't, I can't wait to watch Mo play. I don't care yeah. what Madden it is or what people are saying about him. I'm going to say it right now. That's someone I never want to play in a tournament in a single elimination game. Never. He's that level. I have that much respect for him. I can't wait to see this matchup. Of course I got a headset. What? What's going on in the back <laughs> back there, guys? I won the classic. I always, you know, you what? Don't get, what's it called? Bose. I, I want always in. have the plug. You guys got to know that. Here we go. Serious Mo. He's going to be rocking the New England offensive playbook as well, but he's going to be in the multiple defensive playbook. Multiple? Why do you think he's in the multiple? What was the reason behind that? The reason why a lot of people are liking the multiple is it's the one formation where in the 4-3, it's the one playbook where in the 4-3 odd formation, you can get safeties in at the linebacker for Woo. the 4-3. So that's the only playbook that allows you to do that, which has made it very popular for some of those guys that want to run some 4-3 with some of that faster personnel at linebacker. Here we go, gentlemen. First and 10. The game of the day. He'll hand it off to Ricky Williams, and he won't get to the edge. I'll say this as a bunch player. You hate being in the middle of the field. I think he ran base right there just to get on a hash. And what, what's so important about the hashes, Mike? Is it just plays performed differently depending it, on what hash you're on? Is it that deep? Zones play differently according to hashes, and sometimes they play a little glitchy when you're in the middle of the field. Maybe that's why I stink. I always practice in the <laughs> middle of the field. I got to start oh. moving, moving over the hashes. Oh, that's a new move. <laughs> These guys have played a ton online. Be on the wheel. There you go. And there is Tyreek Hill. One of the things interesting here is you see Mo is in, looks like a nickel type formation, but he's taking the slot DB and using him. <gasps> oh! I like that adjustment from Zach. You don't see people use a control that slot nickel back very often, and it looks like he's giving Clef a little something different than what he may be used to. Uh, there's Amari. That'll pick up the first down, plus Terrence already at the 44. And I think that's why he's lurking on him right now for the speed. Just watch how he wiggles out there. Let's take a look. He's everywhere. Yeah, he's moving fast. He's going with the streak. Comes. And Vic, somehow Amari Make Cooper will get away inside the red zone and spin his way to the 17. So first and 10 at the 17. First drive of the ball game for Clef. He's already down in the red zone. It's hard to score here. Little delay to Ricky Williams and no sir. It's so huge to get seven instead of three in this Madden. Hey, the cliche simple stuff is usually the truest stuff, Skin. Everyone, everyone's bagged. Boy, that's a deep drop. Vic! And, what a sack! Or a running draw. We don't want to take another sack and get out of field goal range right here is what I'm thinking. If I get a third and 26, oh my goodness. Third and 26. You got to take your underneath. Get your field goal. There you go. So again, it's Shannon Sharp. He had a little bit of a convoy for a moment. And it's up, and it is good. This is the game we've been looking forward to all day long. And we still got a ways to go after this. First and 10 here for Mo. And he'll be sacked. A little block shed from the back. Pickers in there. His defensive line's eating right now, I can tell you that. And, and I'll tell you what, this is why that New York Giants defensive playbook has been so popular amongst so many of the competitors, as it's one of the few playbooks that has this nickel 335 normal mic and a nickel normal and an over G and a dollar. So a lot of variety that you could run in this defensive playbook. Clef showing it off right now. Third and 24. Scott Cole along with Michael Skimbo, RG. What's the dot? Nice. He's showing one of his best plays early in the game. Bunch to the right, little motion to the outside. Vic. Looking, firing, and Randy right. Moss will move the chains. Well, if you run around too long, those receivers get tired. In salary cap, people don't invest in backups to sub in, so you, you really got three receivers that are serviceable. There's Gurley. If you guys are having an amazing day out there, wherever you might be, thanks for making us a part of it. Oh. Where if you're going up against the nickel normals and whatnot, you have to max protect more often than not. Mo seems like he's sending out multiple routes, no big deal. And I'll tell you why. It's because... Oh, boy. Almost, almost oh got a wild animation there. He's got Let's see if someone day. finds boy. Find, someone's going to... Oh, he's oh, he's oh, look at this! Let me lurk it. Huge defensive work right there by Clef. A lot of people can use a defense, use a defend at the beginning of the play, but it's as the play breaks down, can you make plays? After the turnover by Mo, he might be going for it all right here on this post. Vic, 
See if it goes up top. He wanted it. He's got run. all kind of green to run. Run. He's messing up. He might fumble. He might fumble. Oh. Yeah. He's, he's going to pause the game after that. He, he said something wasn't going good with the controller. He didn't like that. I've, I, I've seen that twice now happen to him. Second and two. It ain't that much. How about Chow getting that settled with the quickness? Needs two yards, and there's another sack. Decision time if you don't get it. He's in, looks like he's in that curl flat skim. You know something about this play. Yep. With a deep post route. I went back to the scissors. Vic. R1. R1 wide. Oh, wow. There oh, is Moss. Randy Moss. Controlling the nickel back is different, Mike. I haven't seen this. And there's another sack. Is he going to send that nickel blitz off, send the, that blitz off the running back side? Running back usually picks it up. Yep. And he does. Forcing Vic out right, though. He's got the post. And oh. dropped. Moe's click on on defense was phenomenal. Look how fast his fingers are flying right there just in pre-play. Third and 20. Got to be able to anticipate when the ball's in the air, click on and make a play. Mo, one of the best. Vic. Rolling away again. Taking three again. You know how it is. Anytime we hype a game up, I mean, this, this final score is probably going to be, you know, nine to eight or something like that. Bunch to the left this time. Motions out, Roberts to the left. Vic has time, and he overthrew him. If you're both running bunch, Mike, you would know this. Do you feel more comfortable defending it, seeing that you run it all the time? <laughs> no, because you overthink everything. Because you know what could be there on everything you run. That's good. That's bad. Third and eight now. He's fighting on that left side. Oh, good roll. Mo looking, firing! Oh, quick on. This is it. This is it. If he doesn't get this, Clough's already in field goal range, can make it two possessions. And Mo only has one timeout. He can take the quarter with him. This is huge. Curl flat with a post on the left. Clough's been all over that corner route, though. He does the, the, motion, uh, da -da -da, the motion post route on the right. This is the biggest play of the game thus far. Got to send him. Vic. No, nope, three men. Looking in, oh, boy. What a hit. Huge hit. Hey, assistant coach for football in high school. Yeah, he's, he's an assistant coach right now. For the half, he's the halfbacks coach. New Smyrna Beach High School in Florida. Vic now for Clef. Oh, he almost kicked him! Kidding, hundreds of times online. And that's just going to be a throwaway, and that's going to be intentional grounding. He's only good at the end of the year, and he said I, he wanted to prove himself from the beginning to the end this year. Well, this is it. B is... Oh, boy, wow. throwing it back. What a great read. Oh, the ball's out! The ball's out! has got it! Wow. You're going down. You cook up the crispy thought to get yourself in the red zone, looking to go up two scores. Then you get punched in the mouth. Oh. Zach Ooh. recovers it, and we got ball game. Oh, he's going for it all. This fade on the right side. First and ten. Three streaks. Vic. Looking deep, but doesn't have time. Clef could get the ball back when field goal range if he gets a stop. Tyreek Hill solo to the right. Standing in his own end zone. He'll run it out with Vic. Oh, he's got room. Stays and in bounds, smart. You're in a predicament if you don't get this. If this is know. the money play. Mo needs 14. The pocket. Throws, finds, oh, and not there. able to hold on. Former oh, Madden competitor. Shout out to Los. He gave me a name in Madden 25. He'll put it away. Right, I called call him. I call Los the Reverend. Hold on, Tyree Kill can get jiggy He's right here. Room. He's got room. Oh, I feel like he needed to go for the possession. Try to get down before you can get cracked by possession one of those or even the aggressive to cut in front of to the wide receiver. Come forward, yes. yeah, forward away. That's a good point, Mike. 27 ticks to go in the half. Oh, Does have wow, one okay. timeout. There's that wheel route. This he time it's out of bounds. Ricky Williams. He stayed in bounds. Then he is. Yeah, He's it's in bounds. Ticking. It's ticking. That's it's a rookie running. move. You forgot your controller. Now you're forgetting to go out of bounds, Clef. Come on now. And he fumbled it last time down here. The throw. Two yarder to put him up nine. And it's up and it is good. Well, here at the half, it's nine to nothing. It's Hill Moss. And there's Roberts in on the inside. It's got to be a pass play right here. And he will go to the air. Can't get away. 
know, if you can get a couple block sheds a game, those are game changers. Second and 19. R1, wide open. And Moss finally holds on. <laughs> yeah, and you see Mo, he's had that dot all game. Help neutralize some of that pressure. Vic has a man wide open oh, and Rose oh, takes it. Oh, one of our favorite, well, besides my mama, she's one of our favorite mamas out there in the Madden community. And, the, and she is all about Mo oh, and Madden. Oh my goodness. He has such a supportive structure back home there in Lima, Ohio. You've seen Clef settle for sevens here, or threes here. Can Mo get seven? There's a high ball to Moss. He's under center, but you got to be careful. You got Tyreek Hill at tight end. Right oh, no, oh, no. What is that? Looking for a snap slant, snap something on that left side, hit off a wide receiver in the back, so that had to be a low point pass. Yeah, watch out for a will route right here by Todd Gurley. Pass lead inside. Sharp will come in the auto motion. And to the back he of the end it. zone, and this time Moss hauls it in. You got to ask for the problem. Here's the here's the replay, and you're like, well, what's the buffet look like? Me and high <laughs> hard pass. Getting me in a tux in high school. Good luck with that. So we got a two point ball game. Clef's got to an answer here. He's played really well thus far. And now you got to go down and think about getting seven. To be honest, I was too busy playing Madden. So he's oh. to the outside. There's Amari Cooper. Yes. So it is a two point ball this game. Sounds good. This is huge. He's locked up. Belt winner Michael Skimbo. We'll be with you all week long. We got a ton of new voices and commentary, and hope you guys are oh enjoying my. this he live action. Click on. There it is. And he will hand it off, and he'll. Oh, he's going for it all right here. Let's see if he gets time. R R1 much. pass lead inside. Tyreek. Tyreek. Got him, Tyreek Hill. Away from that safety that's drifting, drifting over there. It's thick. Brings up a second and six, hands it off to Curly. Oh. Curly gets loose. Quick snap. Looking. Playmaker, Rolling. playmaker, playmaker. And he'll throw it away. We had a couple turnovers, a couple field goals, and now a couple touchdowns. Mo again. Oh, it's oh, yeah. perfect time to use the pick. Like you said, Mike, he needs to let him get closer to that sideline. Yep. Get a little more separation, and we've been talking about the click on all day long, and Clef just shows you right there how responsive these guys are on the sticks. And now he's up two possessions with the ball. Moe's got himself in some trouble. And he had a, oh, he had a touchdown. He got rid of it. Yeah, Bo is one of the most aggressive players that we have on the circuit. Very willing to send six rushers at the quarterback. Third and three. Oh, he'll I don't, snap it early. I don't like this. He'll throw oh. a wheel. It doesn't matter. Ball at the 44-yard line. That was a huge third down conversion before the quarter. And he hands it off to Matthew Williams. Makes a man miss. Can oh, he get a block? Horse. He's in the outside. Oh, cut. Back. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> he snapped with four seconds. Perfect. Quick throw to the outside. Guy by the name of Lucky in the chat, Ari calling Mike Tony Skimbo. Here we go. Second and six. Thought about running oh. for it. He will. Oh, the for one cut. No. Of serious Mo. I'll never count serious Mo out, though. I'll never count him out of any game. Well, he'll fight to the very end. We've seen it plenty of times. And there is Ricky Williams to spin back to the inside and nine. He's a stop. Send out five routes, though. Did he throw? throw it to the back of the end zone and couldn't get the animation? Is he going to the same play? Vic, he'll wheel it. Can he make a man close? Pass? And here's Mo doing the drag. Clef kicking the oh. field goal, but Mo not in field goal block. I don't I, get it. I don't get it, Mike. I don't get it. He's not going to fake. <laughs> and we got a little movement along the line there. 35 yards. He's still on aggressive, isn't he? He didn't change no, it. No, no, he changed it. Woo. He went down and changed it back. Oh, but he gets a block sweet. shed anyway, and it's going to be intentional grounding. So that'll bring up a second and 21. Look at downfield. You got to throw it to him. He's and, got it. And he'll tiptoe along the sideline and get out of bounds at the 49. A Khalil Mack 92 overall. That explains a lot. There they go. There they go. There it is. 
When you don't spend that much on chemistry, you can go and get yourself those Lawrence Taylors and high overall Khalil Max. And Clef's reaping the benefits of those right now. He'll get out of bounds. That was a huge hit stick at the 44. Up time and time again in this 3-3-5, but just continues to lock up. Mo in desperate need of a touchdown. Got another dot right there. Oh, oh, oh. his way in. He's got to it's close. get all the way down. Oh, got to be a sneaker, here. right? No, you hand oh, it off man. to the fullback. Huge defensive stand right here for Mo. It's all on the line. Vic takes this check down. Gets it to Moss. It won't get to the marker. And there's the first time out. Going in the oh. air again. R1. pressure. He overthrows it deep. And Hill he dropped it. it. He dropped it. The clock stops. The clock stops. Boy, to be in the head of Sirius Mo right now. Oh, he's trying, trying to, he's trying to dump for the game. Has time. Looking. looking, there's a play. Oh, he's a Is he going to put it together? Give me a one in the chat if you think so. Oh, my gosh. And he still has two timeouts. Clef took his field goal, and he, or, and he went, and would have gone for it and didn't get it. Mo would have clocked in, kicked three, and won the game. The clock's ticking, boys. Vic, Vic running wins. again for Mo. Bunch to the left. Vic. He's got it. Boy, almost ran in the back of his lineman. A little high throw there. That'll move the change, and there's that. Timeout, he's got one remaining. Look at these route combinations. What's he gonna throw? Needs 11 yards. Needs six to take the lead. Six. He's got it! Oh! Oh! I'm serious, Mo! What a serious start in a serious clutch situation. He's got ice in his face. Look at crushing Tim. Mo a fighter. To win his first and only belt. Something magical about the Bay Area for Mo and Gurley will make it a three-point game. Finish the job! <laughs> I love this game. Still has time here for Clef. Good oh, my gosh! Out. At the 30-yard line, he's got one timeout remaining. Who's this kicker? It's a 10-cap, Dan Bailey. 10-cap, Dan Bailey. Oh 79 overall. <laughs> oh, my God, one dot. Oh, my. He's going to probably get to the 33. Another quick snap. Is he going to hit the post again? He is. He throws it again. He's in field goal range. Oh, he's Tying nice. this thing up. It's in, it's in overtime. Dun, 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 it's dun, ice. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see if he cares about ice. This to tie the ball game. It is up, and it oh, is oh, good. Oh, my God. I'm talking about Moby and Clutch. I got I to gotta say Clef just got Clutch, too. How Clutch was Clef the god? Not looking like a pass. Mo, you cannot give up the touchdown if you're Mo. I'm nervous just calling this game. <laughs> First and 10 of the 25. Oh, it's what? been everything you could ask for and more. Vic for Clef. Everything's back. Buys time. What the defense? And there's what the click defense? Oh, that's good user control by Serious Mo. Takes away two routes, crashes down on the quarterback himself, and gets the user sack. That's just Mo, man. That's just what? Mo, man. We're on our feet. The players lounge. They're on their feet. He's got the best defensive lurk in the game. We got a couple panic baskets going on in the Twitch chat. What a dot. And there is Tyreek Hill, right? You are RG. First down. Mo's been in this match. I I'm surprised Clef hasn't tried to go over the top with this match coverage. Vic again. Oh, good adjustment. You should have called a timeout right there. You cannot have players tired on your best your best drive of the tournament. That's the voice of Michael Skimbo, three-time belt winner. Here in overtime. Close to the market, that's going to be a first down. When you see him shuffling through their plays like that at the play call. Plus territory now, first and ten. Clef again on the run with Vic. Vic. Oh, spin. Man, what a spin. You're crazy. Suspect waiting to play Kim a little later on today. Oh, man, you can feel the tension in that room. Vic. No one's open. Clef's going to run again. That could have been a fumble. <laughs> this is it. So he'll flip the script. He has scrambled several he times might have in a overtime. Corner around the left might be a touchdown. Vic, it's he's got him. He's going to run it. again. He missed it. Here in overtime, remember, the clock really doesn't matter. Vic, looking oh, to the end zone. He caught it. He got it. He's got it. Clef the guard. It's a walk-off. 
You see the respect, McClef the God. Just put some respect on his name as Mo. And we got Clef the God. He's going to be coming over and talking with us for Clef the God. 28 to 22. And now joins us at the, we go four wide. First time we've gone four wide today here at the desk. But hey, when you're, when you're talking about playing serious Mo, you guys play a ton online. Now you're shoulder to shoulder. Just take us through that game. Man, I had a good plan. I, I prepared it well. Shout out to everybody who helped me with reps and stuff. I just gotta, I gotta be better in that situation about closing out games. I, do, I dominated the game. You can see the yards. Dominated the game. Dumb mistakes almost cost me the game. Great player, great competitor. He's one of those guys you you don't want to play him in the tournament. I mean, he he has the big game in him, and as you can see, he fought hard. Oh man, well, Clef, I, I just know that you come from a football background, and can you just talk to me about how much that comes into play in a situation, a high pressure situation like this, a lot of money on the line, the big stage. Is that something that you feel you're built for and how much did playing at a high level help you with that? It definitely helps. My dad kind of instilled that in me at a young age with coaching and stuff and with working me out so hard and just being on my being on my case about when everything gets hard, that's when you got to kind of stay calm. I talked to Skimbo about it too. He gave me some gave me some good pointers about just staying calm. That's what I learned the most. Just learning how to relax when everything is chaotic around you. Oh, that, that's exactly what you did right there. You showed and proved, brother.